What's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video. I really, really hope that you are keeping safe and well in these crazy times that we are living in. And I don't want to dwell too much on the negative because I feel like in situations like this, we need to be really, really positive. So what do we do when we're feeling positive and we are stuck indoors? we clean. So in today's video, I want to talk about the life-changing magic of tidying up by Marie Kondo. We've all heard of Marie Kondo by now, we all know who she is, and I want to talk a little bit about how that interlinks and fits in with a zero waste or sustainable lifestyle, because that is not something that is talked about at any great length in her book or in her method. So if you do like the video, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and also please don't forget to hit subscribe, which is that big red button down below so that you don't miss any more of my future videos. And without further ado, let's get into the video. So if you have been following me on my journey for the last, I would say, one year, you'd know that I found Marie Kondo around March 2019. I bought the book, I took my notes, I did the method religiously. And if you haven't seen my videos on how my decluttering process went, then I will leave a link to those videos in the description box below. And I will also leave them floating above me in a card above my head so that you can check them out after this video. Marie Kondo genuinely changed my life, changed my perspective and the way that I think about consumerism, about stuff. And it fed so nicely into the way that I approach my zero waste lifestyle today. So if you have never heard of Marie Kondo before and how the method works, at the most basic fundamental level, her method is that you keep the stuff that brings you real joy in your lives. You hold each item in your hand and you ask yourself whether it brings you happiness. And if it does, you hang on to that item. And if it doesn't, then you discard it. Now there is a step-by-step -step to this, of course. So you do need to take some notes while you're reading her book so that you do everything in the right order because the order of how you discard can be quite important to your overall results. But I have discussed that at great length in my other Marie Kondo videos, so I won't go into it here. But that is the very basic of what you need to know in order to understand how this feeds into sustainability. So while this method is absolutely incredible for decluttering not only your space, but also your mind, and its popularity is clearly growing worldwide as more and more people are dispelling the notion that you need more stuff to be more happy. My only concern is what is happening to this stuff that people are discarding. Because when you actually sit down and analyze the method, it's a very forward looking method. But the reality is you have all of this stuff accumulated in your space right now. So it's very much a present issue. So I always wondered, even throughout watching the Netflix series, if you've seen that, what actually happens to these giant bags, these giant black sacks of stuff, of rubbish, that people have decided that they no longer need, that no longer brings them joy. So, you know, does it end up in landfill? Do they recycle it properly? Does it go to a charity shop? Are the clothes recycled? There are many, many questions that Marie Kondo does not directly address in her book when it comes to how to discard these items. Now, in fairness to her, her book is not about sustainability. We can see how these links are created by our own personal focus and where your focus lies with regards to sustainability and towards reducing your impact on the environment. But Marie Kondo's premise is not based around the environment. It is based around minimalism. So I think that's an unfair criticism that she gets a lot of the time because we ourselves as people who are completing this method are the ones that need to be responsible and able to make those connections. And so I think that your own personal ability to recognize that you need to be cautious and careful with how you dispose of these items is really the focus that we should be emphasizing and not criticizing Marie Kondo for not directly addressing the sustainability issue. Because as I said, her focus is on minimalism and tidying up while the sustainability or zero waste elements are slightly down the list of priorities. 
Her aim is to really make sure that you find what brings you joy in life and to teach you the ways of her version of what minimalism means. It simply comes back to the old saying that one man's trash is another man's treasure. You have to think about the stuff that you are discarding and if it's useful in any way, make sure that you are not just throwing it into a black sack and throwing it into the landfill. I think as far as sustainability goes with the method, another thing that we need to be really careful with is that we don't allow this sudden discarding of all of this clutter and stuff from our lives to trick us into feeling like we have all of this room in our psyche for more accumulation of stuff. That's not the goal of the method. That's not the goal of sustainable and zero waste living. We can't just empty our space and go and accumulate more stuff. Minimalism generally is meant to be less about the objects themselves and more about changing your mindset, how you approach the world, how you see the world and how you see objects as fitting into part of that. And it's really about getting into the root cause of why as a society we feel like we need to have more stuff to make ourselves happier, to feel like we're more wealthy and all of these different psychological hangups that we have with owning stuff. So Marie Kondo's method and minimalism generally can feed really nicely into a zero waste lifestyle in that way by helping us to understand what we need and what genuinely makes us happy because for me I know now that owning more stuff does not make me happier and I feel like that really encompasses what minimalism and Marie Kondo and sustainability is all about and Marie Kondo does make it really clear that by the end of the process she wants your psyche your mindset to have shifted so that you can actually hold something in your hand and make a conscious decision about whether you need an item do I need this thing and if the answer is no then you should put that thing back on the shelf for somebody else to take home and to love because it does not fit in to your lifestyle if it does not bring you joy so I suppose that shift in mindset and that shift in how we perceive stuff in the world doesn't really get around the fact that when you are discarding items, there is a lot of waste, there is a lot of that black bag filling mentality. So for example, when it comes to clothes, how can I get rid of my clothes correctly? There is a number of different outlets that can accept the clothes that we no longer need and love. I would urge you to think about upcycling and repairing. If it's a case that there is a button missing off a shirt, then learn a new skill and replace that button before deciding to donate it, if it's a shirt that you really love. However, it is the case, and I do completely understand this, that in the modern world of fast fashion that we live in, a lot of the clothes that we own are not good quality. They are designed to be worn for the short term, and essentially binned. It's one of the major issues with the fast fashion industry as it exists today, which is why I no longer shop in these outlets. And that is a separate topic in itself. But the point is that if an item of clothing can legitimately be donated, that is the best thing to do. Or if it can be repaired, then please do that. Because there is no point in shifting our waste essentially one step further for the charity shops or donation banks to have to deal with because that is all you're doing if you're not looking at other ways to deal with these items because it will just end up being the case that somebody else will have to send it to landfill besides yourself. So it just means that you have to get a little bit creative and it might take a little bit more time than you expected to do this declutter. So I think understanding that you are going to take time to complete the process and that will mean that by the end of it you have a clean space and you've also done your best for the environment and hopefully by the end of all this your mindset will have completely changed anyway to the extent that this is never going to happen again you are never going to own this much stuff in future ever again and you are never going to have to unfortunately have the planet suffer as a result of all of our consumerism. I think that is one of the most fundamental things that I took from the method is that although I discarded a lot of stuff at that time a year ago, I am never going to have to do that again because I simply don't bring items into my house that are going to need to be discarded in a year, in 10 years. So I suppose to wrap all of that into a short summary, the Marie Kondo method is incredible. It will absolutely change your life and it will change the way that you look at stuff and your relationship with the world. And those people that say there are no links with sustainability, I don't think 
that they're necessarily correct, although Marie Kondo does not focus on that element directly. We can understand how we need to be responsible consumers and how we can use her method as a tool to be more kind to the environment at the end of the day. Even if your life is not geared towards sustainability or zero waste living, you will automatically find yourself leaning in that direction and doing a really good service to the environment in that way. And with that said, I really hope you enjoyed this little chatty video about Marie Kondo and sustainability. And if you liked the video, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Please don't forget to hit subscribe. And I really look forward to seeing you back on my channel really soon. Bye!